Up at the airport after a couple of days in Barcelona. It was awesome speaking at Affiliate World and meeting so many people. But uh, we're about to head off to Ibiza. We rented this sick place. Check this out. days in this Airbnb in Ibiza it's been pretty awesome we're on the south part of the island right now and um, yeah it's always been a dream of mine to go to Ibiza I saw the most amazing DJs like all the world's best DJs that like I used to listen to growing up going through high school so it's been really awesome to see and hear all them and um, yeah we're about to go head more inland we're gonna go to a next Airbnb that we've booked then we're gonna go adventure around Ibiza, up north, through all the coast, all the beach, and then hit up some mad food. And I'm looking forward to eating some really good oysters. So, yeah, we'll see you guys on the trip. Trapping like the narco, narco. Got dope like Pablo, Pablo. Cut dope like Pablo, cut dope. Chop trees with the Draco, Draco. On the north got Diego, Diego. Say I still a wego, the way. We'll be in rapping kilo, yeah. Stub nose with potato, straight out the jungle. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so we just got to the next Airbnb in Ibiza. Super awesome house, amazing views, like pretty sick pool as well here. And uh, yeah, so today all the boys just, we've already set up, we've already got everything set up. I went and got a haircut. It's really hot right now, so let's just go back up on the balcony real quick. Yeah, so you can see the ocean over there. You see that over there? So, um, yeah, we're on the north side of the Ibiza Island. Um, you can see the mad view and yeah, really looking forward to going swimming in the beach because the weather's so hot. But, you know, I was just thinking as we got here and we arrived at this place, I was just thinking how awesome this is because like at the age of 23, being able to explore Europe and travel around the world and make money online is like, you know, it's always been one of the goals of mine to travel around Europe and make money and like now it's happening. So I think that's really awesome. And I think at the end of the day, it really just comes down to the decisions you make in your life and like what you actually want. So I just want everyone out there to envision really what you want 
and then go after it. Because as long as you have the picture in your mind, you can really just achieve anything. So yeah, we'll cut back when we're on the way to the, the beach. beach. Oh. Gonna get some little things from the grocery store. <laughs> gonna we go for a swim. Gonna get some water. Do some laps. Wait, let's talk a little bit about how we met. Sure. Yeah, so basically the way we met is um, I got my brother back before he was doing affiliate marketing into sales and um, he joined a sales team and he was actually the head sales coach. You're like the Yeah, partner. running, running. Yeah, yeah you, he was like running it, right? So he started doing it. They both had Australian accents and then you were like... Where were you from in like Australia and then basically? My brother was like, oh, I'm from, you know, near Sydney, Wollongong. And then he's like, oh, I grew up in Wollongong. And he's like, oh, I went to Tiggs and he went to Tiggs. Went to the same high school. Same high region. school. And then he was best friends with my neighbor. Yeah. Right, so he used to, we used to be like very close proximity and we never even knew each other and we only met over Zoom. While I was in America and he was in Australia. Yeah, so that's pretty cool and ever since then now we've been fucking like best mates bro. Killing it. Yeah. And now we're all doing business together, making yeah. money together, so but yeah. power of the synchronicity. And it's pretty crazy, you know, just how small the world can be and how like just one small opportunity and one small person that you meet can have such like a massive ripple effect. Yeah, so that's pretty amazing. Yeah. All right, sweet, so this beach looks kind of, you know, eh. It looks really cool over there, so we're gonna jump in and we're gonna go swim and see what's over there. All right, so we're gonna go swim over that beach, but we thought we'd check it out over there. And then we, so we jumped in and we swam across. Matt Tomo's a pro swimmer. And um, absolutely destroyed. Them. Yeah, he absolutely destroyed us in a swimming race. But um, yeah, over there you can't see it from here, but there's an actual like amazing restaurant, like a full cove and like a secret restaurant. And we just swam up and we made a reservation, and uh, luckily they had a spot. So we're gonna drive around and we're gonna go eat some food there. So it's gonna be really good. Yeah. But um, yeah, now we're just gonna um, we're gonna head off and go get in the car and drive over there. So we'll see you at the restaurant. All right, awesome. So we just pulled up at the spot that we found when we went for a swim. So yeah, we're gonna go check it out. It looks really nice. Yeah. Came for a feed with the big man himself, with big man number two. Four big man. This is the beach we swam in on. So when we jumped in on the cliff over there and we swam in here, and luckily they had a reservation at the right time. Sure thing. It was very nice, had some good salmon. Unfortunately, they had no oysters though, but we had some calamari. The view was very amazing. We're gonna go back down and go for another swim. But uh, yeah, it was a very good meal. If they had oysters, it would have been 10 out of 10. My yeah. personal masseuse here. The food was that good, it was speechless. Speechless. It's hot, man. What do, you, what do you think, it's like 43. Do you reckon it's like 40 degrees right yeah, now? for sure. Easily 40 degrees. We're cooking with gas. So hot. But yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna grab our stuff and go for a swim. So we'll see you there.